stepped up on an episode of Raw a couple years ago against Nia Jax. How was that contact made, and how were you kind of informed of what you'd be doing that night? Oh, my gosh. That was probably the most anxious I've ever been in my entire life. So at the time, um, I had done a couple of, of the road loops for extra work before, and it's very, it was very, like, uneventful for women. Um, a, a lot of the men extra, extra talent, they would get used for, like, security spots or to get beat up or, or you know, just the, the random stuff. But the girls, we kind of always just hung out and watched Fat and Catering all day. But that night in particular, um, John Cohn, the ref, pulled me aside. And he was like, hey, um, I think you're going to be wrestling Nia Jax tonight. And I'm like, like, I thought it was a joke. And there's like a hidden camera or something. I was, I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Because at this point, there had been no, no extra talent or no um, enhancement matches for women. It, it just wasn't a thing. So he's like, yeah, so go ahead, put on your gear. We're going to have you, um, you know, bump around a little bit. And I'm like, this is really weird. Like, is this real? And sure enough, they're like, yeah, so tonight's Naya's first match on Raw. We're going to debut her. This was the match right, or the, the Raw right after the, the original brand split of Raw and SmackDown. When they, and it was her first match from coming up from NXT. And you can only imagine how nervous I was trying to get in the ring with Nia Jax, her Raw debut. Not that, not just that. I mean, you know that she wants to impress too. Right, right, right. Exactly. So you're and you're was, both that, in that was spot so where so much pressure. Yeah. So she's she's trying to get and sustain a push. You're trying to uh, turn some heads of your own there. Right, right. But um, again, if any opportunity there is so much fun, so rewarding. All you can be is just thankful. 